So welcome to the next video. As you can see, we've already created the um, leaves. Um, just a side note as well, something I should have said before. Um, if you haven't painted your leaves to the very tip of the page, because you do so, um, it helps us um, within the next um, tutorial, within the next within the next one that's coming. Um, so in this one, um, we're just going to create a new folder. We're just going to call this um, leaf. And we're literally just going to select all of these, and probably not that one. So anything that's named, and we're just going to by pushing select, and then we're going to drag and drop. Okay. So create a new folder. This time it's going to be placed under leaves, and we're going to create a new layer within that. We're just going to call this one um, what do we call the trunk of the tree? There we go. It was in there somewhere. And again, I'm just going to call this one um, tree trunk. Okay. So now, as we're sort of looking down on this angle, we need to create a sort of, sort of curve. So we're going to follow in with the same sort of color scheme. We don't want it to be too warm. Okay. So probably some go around here. And oh, it's gone over. And we can start to paint. Um, our trunk. Now, obviously, we want it to curve round, much like the upper tree. It's going to, um, you know, it's it, it's going to follow off. Okay, this is looking a bit too thick, I think. Um, it's going to it's going to double up, so we need to consider that this is going to double in size. And I think actually that is probably a nice size for us to go with. Okay, and then from that, we're going to bring some of our stalks down. But now we do want this to touch the bottom. Okay, um, so we may need to make it a, the tree actually a little bit bigger. Um, okay, so yeah, we're gonna have to make it a little bit bigger. So let's go back just to do these a little bit. Now we can't make this trunk too big because it may make these look a little bit um, unrealistic on your tree. Okay, um, so what I recommend you do. Um, if it's your going to be your sort of main tree for your scene, is that you um, go back, make these bigger, maybe add another um, ring, but don't try to exceed too much past this, as you will see why shortly. Okay, don't try and exceed anything past there because we need this additional space for something coming up. Um, so uh, with this taller tree that I have, um, I'm going to take that down slightly. I'm actually going to bring it up just a couple so push E again just to bring up your eraser if you're sticking with this which is obviously perfectly fine if you are and we're just gonna bring these out slightly um, and again we're just gonna you know, imagine the fact that we this is a f we are looking down from above over this tree trunk okay so Again, if we just zoom out, cool. Um, yeah, I think that's okay. Um, it's a little bit odd sized um, given the type of tree that we've done here. So I do think we're going to have to do um, another ring of leaves. Um, so go ahead and do that. Bring these um, end bits down and just build, um, connect the two with another row. Um, I'm obviously you can push Alt and pick the color dipper um, like I'm doing here, and it will select that color and um, you'll be able to fill those bits in. Um, I'm not going to do that now. I'm just going to carry on with this demonstration. Um, so if your tree does look a little a little weird, then do so. So, um, okay, we want to add more shadow under here because obviously it'll be really dark um, at where this part of the tree is. So what we're going to do is actually decrease our size. We're going to create a new um, layer and we're going to add this shadow in, okay? And we should have a nice sort of ring and going around um, that tree. There we go. Yeah, there we go. And we're just gonna. I'm just gonna bring out a little sort of branchy bit here, just to spruce it up a little bit. And we're gonna add a little bit more shadow in to these areas here because presumably these are at the base of the tree and they will be darker. Okay. And it obviously allows us then to get some more bits in. So 
there we go and let's have a look at that looks yeah cool okay in fact I, I, in fact actually maybe we might just roll with the tree how it looks okay obviously with it being a, like a fantasy type game then we can sort of bend the truth and you know it does read as a tree uh, we're just going to rename that layer as um, tree trunk shadow and then what we're going to do um, just to create a little bit of variance with the tree um, we're just going to add another lighter color as well so we're just going to pick this light a bit and we're just going to pick something up here and we're going to create a new layer and we're just literally just going to paint a couple of bits on okay um, mainly around the tips as well um, especially where you know that sunlight might actually show and obviously a couple of bits on the uh, tree itself so if we zoom out again we just got a little bit of extra detail in there now uh, make it look really nice so we're just going to call this tree trunk light by this stage you should be really getting to grips with the fact we have a, a base colour we have um, a shadow colour and a light colour this is going to reset you well for year two um, so you know keep keep sticking with it keep sticking with it so now what we need to do is copy and paste so we're going to leave um, these we're going to create two new sides and have they stitch them together so push control shift and C which copies all layers okay everything it sees um, and what you'll find is when we push control V we will now have all the red from the tree so make sure you hide those okay make sure you haven't got this um, black purple line selected hide layer 4 in fact we'll hide that as well just to make things easier push control shift C select the leaf folder don't open it select it because we want to copy this above that and then push control shift and V which means it will paste it in exactly the same place okay we're going to hide these two layers we're going to push control shift and V again so now we have two we're going to push control T okay and this brings up um, free transform and we're going to push minus um, in the width column in front of the hundred percent which will make it minus 100% and move it along and then we're going to drag this across we're going to fit it in right there and we're just going to zoom out cool we have some funky looking tree okay now obviously we've got a bit of symmetry going on down here um, we're just going to have to clean that up just to break it a little bit because obviously if things are too symmetrical people will notice that and it'll look a little weird um, so what we're going to do is push E, select our eraser tool and we're just going to literally delete those bits off be careful because obviously now it's one solid layer we can delete, we'll be deleting any of these as well and what we're going to do is just vary um, some of these leaves a little bit okay so we're just going to add another um, little bit uh, onto this side just to give the impression that this is actually a little bit bigger and it will you'll be surprised how well this actually works um, and we can just put a little bit of these in and it should break up that symmetry and if we just do it down this side as well actually we'll just take this um, we're just gonna in fact actually we're gonna increase the size of this leaf rather than take away from this one so um, and hopefully that means that you know really subtly we'll be breaking that up and it won't feel as though these things are the same either side oh. and we'll just sort of follow it round with these Obviously, we will need to re oh, we will need to repaint the other side because we can you just see there we've got some bits where we're painting on this side rather than that side where we should be, um, but that's okay. We can fix them up. And yeah, so you know we're starting to break that, and it just stops it being so samey, and we can just paint a little bit around there maybe. I think we can bring this in. 
bring the bring all of these out a little bit and yeah there we go okay yeah it's only it's, as I say it's only a small thing but it just makes that little bit of difference okay so it's the same but it's not quite the same so cool um, we've just got to tidy up the trunk a little bit again because it looks like we've got a bit of a space invader face going on down here um, so it's going to take that off take that off um, this we're going to swap this around this can go up here this can be painted that can be covered and it can go down here okay so um, there we go so now we've got the trunk um, we've added a bit of offset um, we're just going to tidy up these parts here what we're going to do is grab our select tool push control shift and no control x which will cut it go back to layer 5 push control shift and um, v that will paste it exactly in the same place that we want so if i push that a couple of times we can see that it's pasting it exactly where we want it now these two layers we're going to merge them and then with these two we are going to um, merge them and we're going to call this um, tree so okay so now we've added a trunk we've added some offset we've also um, made sure that the tree hits the bottom and the top and what we're going to do now is um, go to the next tutorial in which we're going to add some pretty cool effects and get this tiled as well okay so I will see